today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're talking about creating a personal mission statement. What's your mission in life? How do you write a personal mission statement? Why would you want to define your purpose? Learn tips to pen your mission statement as we continue our month focusing on a fabulous start to 2018. Are you ready to clear your clutter and share your gifts with the world? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join me on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out as I teach you how to navigate the waters to declutter your life, get organized, and become more mindful. Come on, let's get started. Dun, 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 dun. Today's episode is inspired because I did this for my business when I was working with a coach. This was back when my business was healing through organization and it was a really good exercise. As I'm reforming, kind of re recalibrating my business, I am doing this exercise again. I thought it would be a nice addition to having a word of the year that we did from last week. This is a nice compliment and it allows you to dig a little deeper and you know I'm a fan of that. And if you weren't feeling the word exercise, this might be more to your liking. I'm a huge advocate of playing around with stuff to figure out what works best for you. Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 dun. I'm possible. Try thinking that the next time you think something is impossible, break out that word. I'm possible. Why would you choose to write a personal mission statement? I've talked a lot on this podcast about taking action not sleepwalking through life, and of course, clearing your clutter. A mission statement is one of those things that can guide you and help keep you focused. And it might also help you if you're struggling with priorities or to figure out what is important to you. A mission statement can help you clarify what you choose to do in life. It can also serve as inspiration like the choosing your word for the year exercise from last week, it can support you when taking actions or trying to make decisions. Does doing this fit within your personal mission statement? Ask yourself when trying to make a decision, choosing to or not to do something. Writing your personal statement. Here are some tips to get you started. What are the roles you perform or would like to perform? Mother, business owner, animal rescuer. What is the meaning of your everyday work or personal life? To support people in clearing clutter. To spread love to be more mindful. What nouns and adjectives paint a picture of you? Compassionate, caring, organized, excited. What verbs describe how you would like to operate in the world? Globally. Shared, aired, loved, inspired. What would your ideal life look like? What would you be doing every single day? What would get you out of bed jumping for joy? 
I wouldn't be rushed in the morning. I'd have time to play with Joey, Antonio, and Athena. I'd have time to connect with my husband. I would support people in creating the life they desired through being more mindful, getting organized, and clearing clutter. I would share my passion through writing, through books, through a podcast, through videos. If you're having trouble with those questions, consider these thoughts. You have one year to live. How would you change what you're doing now? What actions would you take? Visualize the end of your career. What would you have liked to have accomplished? What contributions would you like to have made? How can you serve people? Where do you want to be in 5, 10, 15, or 20 years? Again, this should serve as a guidepost. I wanted to be a screenwriter for the longest time. When that didn't happen, I needed to find new dreams. I've written a course and need to get my button gear to get my books up and out there. I have several drafts, so my statement this year will include some stuff about writing books. What are your roles? Wife, business owner, son, friend? What are your unique talents and gifts? Organized, listener, compassionate, writing, podcaster. What are your dreams? What are your passions? What would you like to be doing each day? This has evolved a little bit, but this was my mission and vision statement when I started my business. My mission was to compassionately transform lives through education and customized plans that create productive and sustainable environments. My vision was a more sustainable world created through peaceful, joyful, inspirational, organized spaces for living and work. Do you keep saying you'll get organized someday, but someday never comes? Are you overwhelmed, anxious, and exhausted by your clutter? Would you like to save time and money while reducing your stress? Are you ready to be organized and decluttered in 2018? Our Get Organized 2018 Facebook Mastermind Community can support you. Begins January 11th with special pricing. Find out more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com under Life Organization Masterminds. Come on, join us. You might want to consider adding a vision statement along with your mission statement. Seeing it every day. Where will you put your mission statement? Where can you easily review multiple times throughout the day? Can you memorize it and use it as an incantation? Will you speak it out loud or say it when you exercise? How will you get your personal mission statement deep into your bones? I read a really interesting novel. I've been reading a lot by Leanne Moriarty lately. And she wrote Big Little Lies, which was made into a series and was really popular. I watched, I really enjoyed it. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to read her books. One of her novels is about a woman who hits her head and loses 10 years of her life. The novel's set in 2008, but she thinks it's 1998. What was interesting reading this, so I believe this is an author who really gets people and does her research. She'd lost 10 years of her life, but her body would automatically know things 
she woke up to all this makeup and she's like, I don't wear all this makeup. As soon as she pulled it out, she knew what to do with it. There were other times when her body automatically went on autopilot and did things she had no memory of. So how can you incorporate your mission statement with some physical activity? Incorporating into everyday life. A mission statement does no good if you don't take action and move forward. Use it as your guiding light, but bring it into the everyday. How will your mission statements inform your choices? How will you use it to make decisions? To say yes or no? To plan? To create? Consider taking one action a day towards your mission statement. If your actions aren't aligned with your statement, then perhaps your statement needs tweaking. Remember, it's to serve as a guidepost. It isn't set in stone and can be changed at any time. Don't be so rigid that you make yourself miserable. And if it really is off course, is it something you wanted to do or is it someone else's life you're living? I have a friend that's married to a man that went through law school, was a lawyer, and hated it. He hated it from the moment he started law school. However, his parents had wanted him to be a lawyer. It's really a little bit hard for me to understand that I, someone could spend their entire life on someone else's dream and expectation, but this man did it. Luckily, he broke free and is now doing what he really loves and enjoy. Do you live your life, not the expectations or dreams and desires of others? Sharing. Do you want to share your personal mission statement with someone? Best friend? Close friends? Who supports and believes in you? Be very careful whom you choose to share your mission statement with. You could go public like I did when I did daily gratitude posts, and many of those became really personal. There are those who will scoff at you, put down your dreams. Those are the people you do not want to share your mission statement with. Be very careful. If it's something that's sacred and important to you, you don't want to put that out in the world while someone may stomp all over it. Doesn't matter how well adjusted we are, how much spiritual work we can do. A lot of times that stuff hurts and can waste our energy. Maybe you form a group that checks in weekly or monthly on how you all are doing to fulfill your statements. There are lots of ways you can form an online group easily, such as a private Facebook group. Getting others involved. Would you like to create a mission statement with your spouse or significant other? How about as a family? Would you like to create a separate statement for your work or business? How can you make it fun, creative? How could you use this as a bonding exercise? Who would really enjoy or get benefit from doing this? Maybe a good friend. Take actions from today's podcast. Create your personal mission statement. Display your statement where you can see it every day. Take time in the morning and evening to reflect on your statement. How did you honor it today? Did you move towards it or away from it? Decide who, if anyone, you would like to share your mission statement with. Consider doing a statement for work or with your spouse or family. Don't forget, you can revise it and completely change it at any point. We grow and change through life, and we should expect our mission statement to do the same. 
On next month's bonus episode, we're talking about awareness for physical clutter. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Are you ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Sign up for our newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com and receive a free copy of 10 Steps to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would love it if you would rate and review the show because it really helps us in the search ranking. See you next Tuesday at one o'clock. Remember, when you clear your clutter, you can create the life you desire.